Hello everyone, and welcome back to Baseballogy, where we look at the current Hall of Famers and discuss their worthiness of induction into the Hall of Fame. As always, I don't advocate for anyone's removal from the Hall of Fame, but I do like talking about the history of the game and ranking these players. It's time to look at another of the older players, one who, like Jim O'Rourke, suffers from being in many seasons that weren't always as long as they are now, nor was the season length always set in stone. It wasn't until 1904 that the season length was standardized to 154 games, with a number of games varying wildly between years prior to that point. As such, it can be sometimes difficult to accurately judge these older players because of the lengths of their careers. At the same time, however, you can't just prorate their numbers over the course of a 162-game schedule because that overestimates their numbers, as the older players didn't have to deal with night games, or traveling across the country, or traveling even to Canada to play games, so the grind really wasn't the same as it is now. But some of the older players do hold up quite nicely. Players like Cap Anson, Roger Connor, and Billy Hamilton. King Kelly's numbers don't quite hold up as well, but he was still an important part of the early years of the game. Kelly played from 1878 to 1893, slashing 308, 368, 438, while posting a WRC Plus of 131. Kelly collected over 1,800 career hits, including 359 doubles, 102 triples, and 69 home runs over the course of his 1,400-plus game career. Kelly was also an excellent base runner, stealing over 300 bases and being worth more than 30 runs on the base pass as well. Kelly's offensive profile also included some great run creation as well, as he drove in nearly a thousand runs and scored over 1,300 times in his career. Defensively, Kelly can be somewhat tough to judge as he spent about 600 games in his career as a catcher, where his defensive numbers were not very good, but he also spent more time in the outfield and was a markedly better defender there but his overall defensive numbers are poor, with negative 60 defensive runs in total for his career. Like a lot of players that we've covered already, pure effects crush King Kelly's numbers. He was around the top 10 of many offensive stats upon his 1893 retirement, including hits where he ranked 9th, runs where he was 5th, home runs where he was 11th, war where he was 9th, and steals where he was also 11th. The problem, as it always is with pure effects, isn't necessarily how high he ranked, but how far off from the top he was in most of these stats. For example, when he came to hits, he was more than a thousand hits shy of the leader, who was of course Cap Anson. Anson also well outpaced Kelly in terms of war by about 40 wins. The career leader in steals at that point in time was Arlie Latham, who had nearly 300 more stolen bases in his career than Kelly had. Harry Stovey was the home run leader at that time and had about a 50 homer lead on Kelly, and Roger Connor was coming up soon as the all-time career leader. In short, while Kelly's numbers are good, there were plenty of players from his time period that were much better than him and overwhelm his numbers, not to mention what the likes of Anson and Connor would go on to achieve. Having said all that, is there a place in the Hall of Fame for a guy like King Kelly? And yes, there is. Kelly was possibly one of, if not the, first superstar of the game. His handsomely good looks and charismatic style of play helped endear the game to a national audience, spurring even songs and plays to be written about him, including some in which he actually performed. The first player to publish an autobiography wasn't Cap Anson or Roger Connor, it was King Kelly. It was thanks to Kelly that the game started to gain popularity and became the staple of American culture that it was always meant to be. Kelly definitely deserves praise and induction for all of his achievements and accomplishments for the game. Thanks for checking out today's video on King Kelly. Let me know what you think about his selection in the comments below. If you liked the video, hit the like and subscribe buttons to get updates on the next video. Tomorrow's episode is going to be about a Yankee shortstop. That's all for this time, and I'll see you next time.